Hello, our group is Custom Scans and Goggles. In this presentation, we'll present to you our business plan, how we hope it to make it a functioning business, and why we think it is a good idea. My name is Jose Coleman. And I'm Eric McBride. I'm Shane McBride. Chris Hernandez. I'm Joshua Hernandez. <clears throat> our mission statement is to provide our clients with an eyewear solution that is as unique as the individual wearing them, to develop safety eyewear, swimming goggles, safety goggles, or other eyewear that is always a perfect fit and is designed to maximize the intended purpose protecting the wearer's eyes. As for the team, it's uh, the ideas behind Dr. Jangman Park, and the team consists of us students at Texas a and Corpus Christi. We're all engineering students here, and the supervision is uh, by Dr. Ruby. Uh, she's the one that leads uh, the capstone projects. And uh, as the beginning of 2006, 2016, <coughs> the team has successfully designed and tested a prototype uh, swimming goggle constructed from the facial scan data and 3D printable materials. <clears throat> the market analysis uh, shows that industry uh, for safety related eyewear and safety goggles will steadily increase in the coastal bend as the market for the industries that require safety eyewear for their workers increase. Currently, Corpus Christi and the surrounding areas are experiencing a steadily growing economy. As of 2014, Corpus Christi was listed at number 10 as one of the fastest growing economies in the United States. <clears throat> Recently, the city has approved several multi billion dollar projects. Uh, one of, which, uh, one of which is Exxon and Sabac, the petrochemical plant that was uh, approved in 2017. The Gulf Intracoastal Waterway expansion in 2016, it's gonna open up our ports for larger ships and uh, increase our business here in Corpus. And uh, LNG liquefied natural gas export for the next 20 years uh, beginning in 2015, which was approved. Yeah, opportunities, uh, the eyewear products are currently developed to fit to everyone, but do not fit perfectly to anyone. Uh, we customize safety eyewear that is designed to fit perfectly on an individual or reduce the risk of eye injury. Our goal is to develop a catalog of prototype models of the major safety eyewear and customize them so that they fit the interested clients perfectly. Leaving no spaces between the face and the environment, the glasses or goggles seek to prevent exposure to. Some examples are the safety glasses, safety goggles, and swimming goggles. For the business concept, Facial scan software will be used to scan an individual's face and then used to imprint the client's face into the desired design, creating a model that exhibits perfectly the shape of the wearer's face. This model will then be created from special 3D printed materials that are polishable to make clear visibility and more resistance to shatter than the standard glass. The models will be coded to ANSI safety eyewear standards and applicable to any hazardous environment that safety glasses are designed for. By 3D printing the models, the glasses become quickly developed and readily available in a timely fashion. Uh, we did some research on to see if we have any competition here locally, and currently we only have one individual offering 3D printing in Corpus Christi. Uh, but the material that they use is limited to only PLA uh, plastics, which severely limit the growth of their business. And the next closest one would uh, be three hours away, which is Katy, Texas. And our advantage is that our printer will be selected to uh, be able to print various materials, including PLA, ABS, and Clear, clear also other resins as well. And we also have the industry of supporting, uh, industry of supports and focused designs, incorporating uh, facial scans to create individually uh, fitting designs has not been done before, and for that, there's no competition. As for our sales strategy, the factors, the factors we're trying to identify are the standard rate for the designs based on the amount of the printer and support material used, uh, the operation time of the printer, the, la the labor hours of the software technician, and also the labor hours of the polishing and sanding process, and the percentage of the profit determined to be feasible. Additional sales can also come from uh, the standard and an accidental warranty we can offer, as well as the delivery of the product if the self-delivery service is offered. As for our advertising and marketing strategy, uh, that we're gonna think, think about using industry workshops and demos for our clients, and also think about ad space in industry-related magazines and uh, newsletters. And uh, we're also thinking about becoming a 3D printing service registered on 3D printed, uh, 3D printing online hubs. The startup costs and requirements for the business would be a $4,000 initial investment um, which will include the purchase of a 3D printer, printer filament material, support material, material for the printer, a 3D scanner, and other needs. 
A residential home office will function fine in the beginning while sales increase to a more demanding total. The low startup cost makes the business relatively safe and the ceiling can only grow as demand for the products increase. Key developments in the future are uh, the prototypes will be finished by April of 2017. Uh, the testing revealed a successful design that had no leakage. Uh, fogging was observed and needs to be mitigated by a safe chemical solution to treat the 3D printable material. We validated the process taken to produce the, the working prototype model. And for the future, uh, safety glasses and goggles designs need to be developed and tested. There are more standards observed for safety eyewear and exploring prescription eyewear are possible inserts for the design. Exploring new innovations in 3D printing technology can only expand material selection and ease in printing. This is a front view of the swimming goggle prototype uh, worn by Dr. Park. Uh, you can see that the uh, material selected was polished to clear visibility. You can see his eyes. <coughs> The side uh, view of the swimming goggle uh, as compared to the Swedish goggle. Uh, both goggles do not have a seal. However, our goggle is a, a, a slimmer profile and closer to the face. The Swedish goggle is more extruded out, which uh, led to visibility problems for Dr. Park. However, uh, our goggles did not exhibit the same uh, functions as the Swedish goggles. <clears throat> and here is a video demonstration of our prototype, uh, Dr. Park, uh, swimming with our goggles on. <clears throat> and uh, through, the, through the swim, he did not experience any leakage and uh, said they were comfortable and he was able to visibly see the swimming lanes and the ropes and the camera. Here's our references for the presentation. At this point, we thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please direct them to Dr. Ruby, and she will get them to us so that we can answer them for you. Thank you.